Hey guys, Portalfan15 here, and today I will be showing a lot of secrets in Human Fall Flat. So, let's get started. All the secrets I could find. I'll go straight through the great game, checking every, turning over every single stone I see. Now, I've already played through this game, and I have all the achievements, so... No need to get any achievements. You just grabbed an instructional video. I'll try to do as many achievement-y things as I can. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit weird today. I'm not feeling very well. And also, sorry for not uploading in a while. Like, like uh, I haven't uploaded in like they a bajillion years, every basically. Door they encounter. Okay, yes, I get it, narrator. Okay, this way. This is way too loud. There we go. Alright, so... Now that we're back to that. Let's see what happens if I go up here. Can I even get up here? Oh, I can. Okay, be very careful. And get up here. Ha! I can skip that door entirely. I don't have to press that button. And I can skip a few doors, actually. But there you go. Now I believe if you go into here, you'd get an achievement. But since I've already gotten all the achievements, it doesn't give me one. Which is a shame. I wonder if it would give you an achievement if you like... I don't know. Anyway. I wonder if these pillars can be like knocked over or whatever. I'm gonna get on top of this guy's head. Ugh. <laughs> King of the person. Oh God, I fell behind. I'm st I seem to be stuck. Nope, not stuck. There we go. All right. And grab opportunities with both of their hands. Hmm. Jokes on you. I'm not going down there or something. Can I like touch the sign? Touch the sign. Yum. Oh, we're already exposed to <sighs> Just wait, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Something got in the way. Anyway. Oh, it looks like I fell down. Oh well. Whatever. Oh. There we go. Alright, this level. This level has a few secrets. Now you may have noticed I have my brightness turned all the way up. <sighs> Just ignore the background noise. Let's see if I can like there's anything under here. Oh. Uh, so, let's see what's underneath these bricks, if there is anything. Ah, oh, come on, these bricks are really heavy, and I'm... You know, I'm not gonna lie, this game, sh this game sort of reminds me of a game that I played once, called, uh, Gang Beasts. It's a brawler game, you guys may have heard of it. Uh, I have it, uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to play it with a friend or on s just single player waves. <coughs> ah, this brick's stuck. There we go. Ooh, just wait, there's a door over here. Alright. Again, guys, don't worry. Nothing's going on in the background. Yeah. Nothing is going around in the background. Absolutely nothing. Zero things are happening. No one... No one is... Nothing is bad. Uh, okay, this is always going to take a while. Let me pause the video, so... Alright, I'll see you guys when I get the rubble move out of the way. 
Alright guys, I managed to get all the things out of the way of the door. What are the doors? Double doors. Double doors. Eh. There we go. This is one of the reasons why I had my brightness turned all the way up. Because this place is dark as heck. Oh god, this is... Really high contrast. So, as you can see... Oh god, you can go this way. Okay, so there's obviously... Is there anything here? I wonder if I can, like, jimmy this thing off. Because it's attached on by a hook, yeah. I'm sure if I just wiggle it around a lot. Come on! Yeah. Get up here, first of all. Ah! Gosh darn it. Maybe if I just hit it with a brick. Ah, stupid fucking hand. Ugh. Maybe I need. Ah, I know what I need to do. Let's move this out of the way. Because I want to see, because I know this lamp can be detached. I've seen people do it. So I want to see. I can somehow manage to get it detached. If this doesn't work, then I'll just try and get it detached off camera. Ah, stop moving. Alright, now just get it. D there we go. Alright. Now I just need to grab the handle so it doesn't look weird. There we go. Now I can explore. Alright, let's see what's in here. Anything? Anything at all? This is a load of nothing. This is a really large load of... Oh! Something. Whoa. Whoa! It's like a maze in here. It's literally like a maze. Huh. Neat. Twisty turvy and a dead end. <coughs> dead end. Huh, there's a box. <gasps> and a window latch. Oh, I never knew you could pull this down. Huh. Can I get the box in there? So I can see it on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna have to. All right, lamp, come with me. Mm. Now, what is this box for? That I don't know. Um, see if there's anything else. So I went those two ways. Completely did that that way. That's a dead end. This box is getting in the way. That's just that way, uh, this way, have I gone this way? No, that's just, yeah, that's just where I came from. <coughs> Sorry if I'm mumbling, guys, I'm uh, not feeling very well. Anyway, uh, no, not there. Ah, jeez, this is disorientating. Disorientating, disorienting, whatever, same thing. Huh, alright. Well, that was definitely, uh, something. <coughs> All right, now how do I? Well, I guess I don't need this lamp anymore. That was cool. <coughs> but a lot of you guys haven't seen that. I mean, I haven't seen it. All right. Box. What do I use it for? I presume I use you for something, but what exactly, I do not know. Uh, I'm gonna try and climb up here. Box here for a second. I'm gonna try and climb up on the train and see if there's any other 
things you can do. Ah. Sorry, there's a few more bricks. I don't want to miss any bricks. And I have people in the comments telling me, Hey, you missed something. If you do blah, 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 then blah, 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 blah will happen. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry, guys. That was probably a bit quiet for you. <coughs> All right, so uh, still moving bricks out of the way. The train makes a weird noise when I knock into it. I wonder if these wheels will spin. No, they don't spin. <sighs> Maybe they spin the other way. No, they don't spin at all. I wonder if you like did like a program editor or whatever, or if there was like an in-game editor, if you could actually move all these bits and pieces to their proper locations and like restore the train to where it was would have been if it didn't crash through the place. Yeah, I think every level except the beginning has like a secret area. I know this area has you know that maze bit. Uh, I think. The, the rock area with the swing has the cave with the green rock mineral things, and uh, that's all I know of. Um, I know there's the underground cave system in the factory level, and then there's... <gasps> wait, can I detach it? I wonder. Okay, just wait. Choo-choo! Drive the train, let's go! There's no controls here. <laughs> How's the train even supposed to drive? Can I lift? No, okay, so it's made specifically for you. But I wonder if that object is actually movable. I don't know, I can't tell. Ooh, you can go in here. This, I skipped that entire below area. Didn't even have to do any of it. Alright. Huh, okay, so just a bunch of wonder if I can pull this back. Uh, no. Hmm. Wait, this wall looks like it's it's like breakable. Looks like you can take bits off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay, just wait guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, sorry about that. Had to deal with something. Wait, I forgot the box. Box. Yeah. Got too caught up in the moment. <clears throat> All right, box. Here we go on an adventure with box friend. Also, um, this is like a train yard, except the train doesn't really go anywhere. Also, these train tracks make no sense. Like, the wheels are... Like, the wheels are, like, on them. Meaning that you'd think you'd be able to just shift it sideways like that. And there you go. But, nope. You can only shift them from side to side. Which is weird. Alright, box, you stay here. I need to do an epic stunt. Yeah. And then I need to. Yeah, I was gonna do both at once, but apparently the game doesn't want me to do that. I've seen people do it, but I can't do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I wonder if not. 
that is impossible. Alright, so wait. Da 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 Okay, so it stops at the end. Alright. Let's go. Boom. Through the door you go, box. Yeah. There we go. What if I can push the button with the box now? the next level. <coughs> uh, sorry for being quiet, guys. Again, I'm not used to. Well, I'm, I'm not feeling well. That's that's that, and I normally, when playing games, I usually don't really speak. And since I'm doing a sort of full long episode on this, you know, my mind automatically goes, "Oh, okay, he must be a." Uh, okay, I'm obviously clearly doing just a playthrough on my own without anyone watching, but no, that's not correct. Anyway, I guess this box was for nothing except, I guess, to make it easier for you to get up here. Hmm. Weird. Never figured out what that box did. Uh, uh I don't see anywhere else I could have gone. Nope, alright, I'm done. Whee! Nope, nothing under the level. Alright, this level is the one with the most popular secret. I believe. Or maybe, no, it's the next level. It's the next level. I see it, sh it's, it, it might seem as if it'd be easier to just put the box on the button, but if you do this, then you can get on top of here and just skip the entire rest of the level. If you just be very, very careful. As one foot is on the ground, then it'll stay that way throughout the wall. Alright, come on. No! Ah. Let's wait. I need to do the final puzzle in order for the door to register open. Anyway, there's no secret on this level other than the fact that you can skip over the entire thing. I mean, I guess getting to the top of a tree would be nice, but other than that, you know. <coughs> Wait, no, I can do it this way. It's taking forever. why this random patch of rough ground is here. It's like, why? There's absolutely no use to it whatsoever, other than, I guess, aesthetic, but this game exactly isn't the aesthetic -y type of game you'd think, because, you know, most of the levels are a bit bland like this, but mm, apparently... Also, I'm sure you could just go like this. Like, go like up here. And if you walk carefully, then you could probably... In fact, I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if it works. So I get here, and then fall off. Oh, wow, still counting. I guess you have to get the, sec the last checkpoint in order for it to... Or you have to land in the specific region for it to trigger the loading zone. <coughs> This is the one where you learn to climb, but if you've already played the game before, like me, the entire way, including that stupid water level that, I swear, I'm not... <sighs> For you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get all the secrets in the water level. And e maybe even in the Aztec level, too. But, <sighs> that water level is horrible. Because you have to use a boat, like, you have to row the boat. And, at first, it seemed like... It, it, that'd be basically impossible, 
But I mean, it is possible, because I've completed it, and multiple people have completed it. You can see speedruns on the internet of people literally making it. But, uh, oh, near the end of the water level, that, uh, crane section, that is, that is impossible. I've tried doing it a bajillion times, and the only way I could manage to make it past it was using split screen, and, um, other than that, yeah. Anyway, so this is the climbing high, and they're climbing, climbing higher tapes that are scattered around the place. Don't eat them. If you want to watch them, then maybe I'll make a video of watching all the tapes that I can find anyway. Although I assume I'll be able to find many tapes. And duplicate tapes will just be mentioned and not, and just skipped. I won't watch every single one. Trust me guys, I know which ones have been uh, duplicated or not. Going down this level, this has the most duplicated objects. Crap. I forgot to jump. Or I, yeah, I forgot to jump. And I have to climb up this entire thing. And this music is cool though. If you guys can get this game, it's a seriously awesome game. And uh it may seem pretty linear and sort of just for the walls, but there is sort of like a a, a, a hint of exploration in this game, as I can, as you can clearly see here. Like, there's so many ways to go. It's like, um, sort of like Super Mario 64. It's like, you know, there are, in fact, levels, but in each level there's like multiple things to do and see. Alright, so over here is the cave entrance for the actual cave. And here is a lamp. Oh, the music in here. I never noticed it. So wait, can we just uh, enjoy the music for a second? I believe there's a achievement for collecting all these green bits, but like I've said, I already completed every single achievement you can. So, there's technically no use for me to collect these, but, you know, just in case anyone's like a completionist and wants to get all of them, here's how to get that one. You walk over here, and, uh, if, if people really wanted to, I could also make a map of the caves. Although it sort of look a bit like it was drawn in MS Paint, <laughs> because my drawing skills are horrible, and my drawing application of choice is MS Paint, because, again, I don't really draw that much. Why did I say again? I never said that I didn't draw that much. Uh, I don't know. Inconsistency. Bleh. Inconsist. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I think it's just me getting, being tired, getting... I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> like, I failed speaking multiple times now, and it's just getting out of hand. Actually, wait, I wonder if without the lamp I can do this. I wonder if it's bright and no. so many times I've basically memorized the layout of this cave. Except that part. That part's a bit confusing. Oh, wait, no. It's over this way. Sorry. Got disoriented in the cave that I literally just said. 
I memorized. So what happens? I jinxed myself. <coughs> anyway, so yeah. There's an achievement for getting all these green cubes. Uh, I've gotten it already. Um, I've gotten every single achievement, actually. Um, maybe I'll do an achievement guide later. If you guys want me to. I mean, most of the achievements are sort of self-explanatory, like, uh, swing across the rope in this level, and, um, collect all the green cubes in this level. Well, that one wouldn't be as obvious if you didn't know there were, there was a cave in the first place, but, I mean, sort of hard to miss it with all the people on YouTube showcasing it. Now, what a lot of people don't showcase is that near the end of the cave, there's a stick and the bar, and bars just like that, where, except they aren't broken but you can actually bend them by using the stick. And a lot of people don't know that. Because, you know, it's not an it's not a very obvious thing. Other than the fact that the stick is literally other than that, it's literally just randomly there and nobody knows why it's there until they figure out that. Or until people figure out that you could actually use it to bend open the cage the the bars. Once they figured out you could bend open the bars, it was like Whoa! Oh my god! You know, I'm not even gonna get all these green cubes. I'm just. There's too many of them. There's like 10 or something. Like 15 or. I'm just trying to find that bar. Those bars. Come on, where are they? Never really explored the, the deep parts of the cave. Just usually did the areas where the green cubes were and never really thought about the. Maybe it's over this way. That is a dead end. Not that way. This way. This is the... Yep. So you fall down. And you see that. And then you try and go back up here. So that's... Where we just fell, I believe. No, that's, that's uh, another area where you fall down into this area. And this is how you get out. You go over here, and where the heck is the... Hmm. Where is it? I know it's somewhere here. No. Gotta say, this lightning... This lightning? This lighting is revolutionary. It's, uh jittery and interesting to say the least okay down here no just another green cube where is it where is it where uh, where It's over here. You have to eh, leave the lamp behind. Here we go. All right. So yeah, you can uh, you can stick this in between the bars. Actually, I don't know if it, can you even bend it with your hands. I don't think you can, but just to make sure. No, you can't. All right. You actually have to use the stick with its intended purpose. Which is bending open these bars. See, look, it bends. Bends the bars. Bend. Bend. There we go. Now I can get out. Eh. There we go. Now I'm up here. Whereas you can see, there's the rope I was mentioning earlier. Now, uh, I haven't swing, I haven't, I've only swung across this successfully once. So I don't know how to, I don't know the, the rhythm, because, like, if you swing straight on, I usually end up falling. And if you swing back too much, then you end up, like, hitting this wall. <coughs> so I'm gonna try and, yup! Yeah, that, uh, 
no, I could never make it. Yeah. Just wait, I can do this. 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 I can definitely do this. As you can see, my sister is in the background watching Green. Uh, which, by the way, great YouTuber, Green. He has his own uh, server. He plays Minecraft a lot. I really recommend playing him. Play, play. Watching him. I'm. I don't know what my mouth is even doing. Oh, I just realized I can't jump anymore since I failed the first time. Unless I somehow miraculously end up grabbing onto this. Oh my god, how did I do that? How in the world did I do that? Alright, well, if you fail, like my, like my did, my, like yes, like, like my did, like my did, if you fail like my did, then you get a second chance if you're really lucky. Of course, if you're not lucky, then you're never going to be able to jump back on this rope. I recommend aiming for the top area and then slowly inching your way down. I went straight for the bottom, since that's since I suspected you'd be able to do this. Uh, no, no, for the neck. Yeah, guys. So um, uh, gonna try swinging on across this thing one more time. And if it doesn't work that time, then I'm just gonna do it the normal way, how you, how most people do it. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I can get lucky again. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Grab it. Yes. All right. Now to go to the bottom. You always go to the very bottom of a rope to swing. In anything really, because unless you're trying to swing up high. Oh god, I grabbed the one area of the rope I could, I should not have grabbed. And now I can't grab anything. Oh god, my arm went through my body. Ah, uh, come on! Uh. Ah. You know what, whatever, I don't care. I can swing using one hand. Yes! Ah, oh, finally. All right. Now to do this with style. With style, I mean literally doing nothing special. Because, uh, as far as I know, you can only complete this one way and one way only. Well, I guess technically two ways. If you get a lucky swing, then maybe you could swing all the way. Oh, I didn't even knock this thing down. Hm. Well, I'm lucky then. Right. Now, to jump! Eh. Now, you see that vent up there? I'm pretty sure that opens. I've never gotten to it before. But, I mean, look at how room-like that box looks. So, I'm gonna try and get there. Uh, I have a few ideas on how to do that. Uh, when I, whenever you respawn in this area, after getting this checkpoint, um, you s you spawn high up in the air and hit that tree. So I'm wondering if, if I can get a good bounce and hit that tree and land, like, right here or something, so I can jump down. Because I've seen some people try it, and they've gotten really close. See, look, it says saving. That means you've uh, either completed a level or uh, reached a checkpoint. So I'm going to try... Oh, maybe I can do this. Make sure. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Whee! It's easier to just jump off. Now, if you just immediately grab onto this, as you can see, I can just climb up on here. I can just climb up on here and make sure I don't fall off. <coughs> Uh, 
Okay, never mind, it fell off. Alright, whatever. I can try again. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, fell off again. Alright, let's try getting up again. Just wait, guys. My sister keeps bothering me. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Oh, jeez. Uh, fail the jump. Alright. Alright, uh. Let us try to do something because this is sort of hard. So maybe if I grab onto here while doing it. I'd be able to round this corner more easily. Around this corner more easily. More easily. glass breaks if you just punch it just gonna punch it up. I'm just gonna punch all the glass punch all the glass punch or pull all the Duh! good good there we go now if I just yeah there we go Punch that glass into oblivion. Now, if I just get it all to fall, there we go. Ugh. Wait, no, don't throw it off there. I need to throw it off this way. Mm, ignore what's in the background. Uh, okay, so, so I think I, th I think if you throw both speakers off, you get an achievement. Like silent neighborhood, silent, whatever the heck. Anyway, so, uh. So let's try again. This time. Oh, jeez. Glass fell on me. Alright, come on. Open up. Ugh. Open up! Did it. Did it. Seriously? Nothing. Nothing? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Nothing. It was all a big waste of time. Oh, that's right, I need to kill myself. In the game. Whee! Jumping off the world. Well, actually, it's not much killing myself as much as it is. I think there's something on top of this mountain, but I don't know what. Anyway, uh, sorry guys, TV's in, TV's in the background, so <coughs> just ignore that. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Is this like a chimney or something? This is a failed chimney, I think. Okay, so that's the exit to... But I think there's something on top of that mountain. Eh, whatever. I'm not going to be able to get it. Anyway, time to go. Oh my god, I fell through both loading points at once. I managed to make it load the next level and still keep the previous one. Let's just punch the glass. Punch the. Punch the glass! Oh god, this glass is thick. Alright, fine. Use a concrete bag. But I assume it's like concrete or flour or something. And pull these things off the door. Oh, that makes a really satisfying noise. Just wait. Can we just... <coughs> oh, I can't 
can't repeat it. <laughs> Somewhere in the files, there's a noise. And I'm putting it on loop. <laughs> Why can I not break this glass? Jump! Alright, yeah, you can't break the glass with your f face. But, I'm, but I know you can break the next bit of glass with your face. Come on, wood. Ugh, there we go. Oh, you can break this with your face! Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna try and climb over the wall. I know you can use the fire extinguisher to just break through the wall, or if you really wanted to, like another piece of glass, or these bits right here, see? I'm sure you could just do this. See, yeah. But I want to see if I can use these to stack up on the other side. I know there's like a staircase right on the other side that allows you to unlock that door with the push of a button. <coughs> oh god. Throat's getting worse by ev with every word I say. <coughs> if you guys want to see another episode of this, like, a, like an actual playthrough of just what I do in order to get through it the quickest, then just leave a like and comment that you want to see it. Anyway, alright, let's see. Good. I got it, I actually can. Huh. Neat. Alright, now let's see if I can use these exact same bits to get on top of here. Looks like you were supposed to be able to get up here. You know, the amount of thought put into like this entire area, or every single like every single level, it has like the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh levels. I believe there are seven, anyways. I haven't counted. Uh, they all like they make sure that you have multiple ways to go, and you can do a bunch of things. And there's so many different things you could do, and yeah, generally a lot of good things. Now, there is an area here that if you want to, like, skip, like, half the level, you go through here. I know it's a bit tedious, but considering you don't have to, you don't have to annoyingly get past that wall anymore, and... Uh... Yeah, I think this is the level with the most secrets. I think this or Factory or Aztec. The last couple of levels actually have like a lot of detail put into them. 
Like, the first couple of levels are like, eh. Because, you know, it was basically just white boxes. And this level's where it starts to get interesting. Like, let's be honest here. Like, that other level wasn't really... Interest juice, per se. Alright, I need to... I think I need to actually use the lever to break that glass. Let's see. See, like, even this area has a, a convenient fire extinguisher for you to specifically use to break glass. So, like, this entire area was so planned out. Even this area that no one ever goes to, literally. I've checked. No one goes to this area. They've added ladders to make it look realistic. They've even added, like, a way to get, to get, um past, like, it seems it ro this game rewards players for being creative. It really does. And if you like being creative, then holy moly, this game is definitely for you. I mean, seriously. So many ways to complete one level. I mean, they all involve falling flat. <laughs> Hence the name, Human Fall Flat. Um, but... Also, is it just me, or do those things hanging that pipe holding that platform uh, on those pipes, do those look, is it just me, or do those look like uh, uh, spring bolt, or uh, U-bolts in, like, uh, suspension, suspensions of cars, without the bottom bit? Like, let's be honest here, it does look like that, doesn't it? Anyway... Anyway, so I believe if I oops, uh, no, I think if I all right. Well, this is the part where you're supposed to jump down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, right. I wonder if I can get to this side of the rock f of the rocker fall that happens. Wow, the rocks are all frozen. Uh oh, I think I'm f stuck. Okay, good, I'm not stuck. They specifically made this bit really grippy. Aw, oh, crap. Oh. even be able to get up here. I think I need a little checkpoint. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it added back this platform right here. Mm -hmm. 
which allows you in turn to get up here. Which hopefully will allow me to yump. I need to go over here. Oh, come on. Boop. Alright. Open this. Mm. So, now let's get this cube. Over, over there, and then get under here by using my ultimate limbo. Booyah. God leg. This one is really hard to cheese, so I'm gonna have to actually do it the way the level intended me to. I mean, I guess a series of extremely difficult jumps and precise timing could get me over to the other side, but to be honest, this is just easier. Like, let's be honest, it's, it's just easier. Oh crap. Come on. Get on there. There we go. Oh, weird, it just lo lost all of its momentum once it reached the end of its cycle. Roll down, alright. I always found this generator weird, like, or is it even a generator? Can you even move it? Like, it seems like you would be able to move it in order to, like... It looks like there's, like, something you'd be able to do with it. Something, if anything. There's even, like, jumps here. And Get up here and just see. And and blah blah. Anyway, next. Sort of getting bored of this level already. Oh, this part. Mm, I hate it. I hate it so much. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to suck it up and do it. <laughs> like I said, not skipping anything. Uh, I might have to leave it at once this level is completed. I don't know. How long have I been recording for? Ah. How long? Woo! An, oh, almost an hour. Alright, well, looks like this will be an hour or so long video. So it's clearly very long. Clearly. Um, let's move the, uh, the french fry out of the way, as people like to call it. Because it sort of looks, it sort of resembles a French fry. 
a french fry-esque thing in the bobber. There we go. Now just pull the lever off. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh yeah, right, I forgot you could do that. And grabbed midair. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> the game glitched again. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, finally, medieval. I was looking forward to this. Medieval, gotta say, one of my favorite levels. It's uh creative in its use of locks in multiple areas. Give it a nice uh, one level touch. And also, I don't know why, but for some people, this area, this bit right here is the hardest bit of the entire level. And they breeze by the entire thing. I mean, sure, I got stuck on it like once. So I was like, wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, rock against the lock, of course. Wait a minute. I remember these bars. I remember these bars. If you've been paying attention, you should remember them too. I see most people would do something, you know, normal. Like, uh, go there. But no. I bend the bars. Oh my god, yes, I knew it would work. But still. Still a surprise for me, sort of. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Alright. Well, that entire ordeal has been completely passed up now just move this forward don't need to break the wall actually just wait I need to do, go do something there's another way of doing this you could either okay so this there's so many ways of doing this so first choice is either to do that passage or to make it or to use the ro or to use the stick as a as a platforming device or to jump from there to the window sill to here so that's three ways of just doing this one bit and then there's two ways of doing this you could either launch or no there's three ways you could either a launch rocks across breaking the wall then launch yourself across into the wall which is already broken you could b launch yourself over the wall or you could c unlock that gate now i know what you're all thinking if you've seen this part before You'll you'll be saying, "Hey, wait a minute! Isn't the second isn't the second gate locked from the other side?" Well, if you look on the ground, they give you just the right thing to use. I said just the right thing to use. This. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, it's basically just a rod with a. It's, it doesn't have a name. I don't know what I was talking about. But anyway, you do this you through and then it lifts it up see it hooks on from the bottom see I ha I'm holding it the wrong way but anyway okay, let's try this again let's just hook it up hook it up Boom! And just like that, you could do that way. So that's three choices on that, three choices for this. And then with this, <laughs> I know, it's starting to sound repetitive. You could do uh, a few things. <laughs> First of all, if you manage to get some of a bits of the wall to be on there, you can jump up on top of there. I've never actually done that, but I've tried to in the past, and it, I've never been, been able to done it, but that's because I'm not very good at this game. So, actually, just wait. 
this way. Uh, that's locked. Okay, so it looks like that door's locked. That door's already unlocked, obviously. This door is locked, I presume. Yes. Alright. Uh, and then there's the way where you could go through here. And do something? Mm, question mark? Uh, no. Looks like you can just go here for no reason. So yeah. So it looks like this only really has two ways, and only one of them is... So this this area is very, uh, isn't very good, but still, I like the idea of hauling around a wagon. The Anyway, uh... Oh yeah, I said I'd stop the episode once I completed that level. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, you know what, yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, um... Just wait, once I get a checkpoint, I'm gonna stop the episode here. like it's purposely here to have you go up here but from here what is the purpose that is unbeknownst to me so I am going to just get up here and reach the saving point which is also the loading and uh, respawn anyway ba -ba -da -ba -da, ba -ba -da -ba -da, wee all right now yep saving may as well unhook this yeah. Now, that door over there still remains locked. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and uh, figure out a way to... Hmm, just wait, I wonder... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, just wait. Let's see what freaking... Wheelbarrow... The wagon. Not wheelbarrow. <laughs> Stupid wagon what I meant to say. Uh, no. From here, I could probably get up on here. If I could, if I actually was... If I could get on here anyway. There we go. If I get on here, there should be just enough room for me to... Now, if I just grab on... Oh, crap, I always... I, like, grabbed on when it was too late. Alright. Now, this time, I'm gonna... Look. Grab. From here, uh, you go down here, and there is a lock, but as we all know, rocks versus locks equals no more lock. I said equals no more lock. I said equals no more lock. No more lock. No more luck. No more luck. What did I say? Ugh. Oh my God! Just open up. Okay, yeah, this this door is glitched or something because Yeah, this door is is glitched or something's going on because this is just stupid.
Okay, yeah, this isn't working. But anyway, uh, under normal circumstances, you would be able to open that door like it was any other door. Anyway, uh, I'm guessing this. Yep. All right, I'm gonna have to leave this episode of uh, all m most of the secrets in Human Fall Flat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you like. And uh, yeah. Uh, Write a comment if you want to see part two. Uh, other than that, I will see all you later. I still don't have an intro after after like a month. Oh, what? What? What the heck? What the? What is? What is? What is this? What is? Net stats. Oh, clear. Okay, smooth. Smooth. Uh, T server. What? T client. Shuffle. What the heck? What the heck? Okay. FAV one. FAV. Uh, FPS. Uh. <gasps> What? 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 Excuse me? What? 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 Okay. Well, that's enough uh, messing around. Uh. Uh, other than that, mm, alright, uh, I guess I will wait. Okay, I think CP does checkpoint, but I want, I am at a satisfactory checkpoint, so, alright, uh, see you guys later. This is, oh my gosh, alright, bye!